after you have stood in this position for a while, calmed down your thoughts, found a maximum relaxed, method flabby position, you should feel the following. Imagine you're standing in water. It can be up to your chest or a little higher. It should be the most comfortable platform for you. And as I'm standing in water, water always moves very slightly at least. It pushes my back and my chest again and again. When the water pushes my back, I lean against it. In other words, I move backwards with an intent, I feel it. When I haven't finished my movement backwards yet, I feel water pushing my chest. So I fall slightly forward. Then it pushes my back again. I am slightly backward. Then slightly forward. That's the way my body begins to respond to the backwards forwards thought form. Why are we doing it? As I've told you at the beginning of the course that you will study one and the same thing. It is something that manifests itself in your body. Now you are trying to listen to the changes in your body, how they respond to the thought form and trying to figure it out by uniting your mind and your body. This moment is moderate. My feet are sensitive to my center of gravity beginning to float. I've moved slightly backwards, my toes cling to the ground not to fall. In other words, my feet take an active part in it. When I move forwards, my heels stick to the ground. And I remember that the top of my head pressing upwards and my feet pressing the ground. And now we begin to study how your body, your mind-body, begins to come in contact with a three-dimensional space. Now you are working with the backwards-forwards thought form. What's this movement? How is it connected with motionlessness? Stood motionless and some movement appeared from somewhere. It manifests itself in some way. In other words, it's kind of a movement and movement so slight, it's more the work of your mind. Now you are studying how your body responds to a mind. It has a leading role here. Now try this movement a little, then just stop. You can sink your elbows if your shoulders are tensed. Relax, calm down your mind. In order to be relaxed, you don't have to work with the water constantly. It's like at the gym, you do one round after another. Now. After some rest, raise your arms and continue to exercise. And one more important thing. It's your mindset to the training. Before the training, you should set yourself for it. Set your mind to what you'll be doing, something comfortable and enjoyable. You don't make yourself do it. It's not that training we used to understand. It's something you enjoy like walking or watching something beautiful, looking at the sky, enjoying sunshine, and a train with this mindset. If I'm too serious, too concentrated, I lose those slight vibrations of my body and won't touch that something. That naturalness will be broken. Having achieved this slight comfortable condition, Sometimes it's called an inner smile. I check if it's here from time to time. And by the way, you can check it during all your day.
Stand for a while. Move your shoulders. Make sure that they are comfortable. Move your elbows. No tension. Your arms, wrists, fingers. Sense all your body. Move your lawn, your neck. You can move your legs. Relax them if they are tired. Stand for a while. You don't have to stand for much time. You can plan your practice like this, for example. For the first time, stand for 5-10 minutes. Let it be a while, but it should be regular. Preferably every day. Best of all in the morning, best of all in nature. In the evening is a good idea too. You calm down your mind, then you have a good sleep at night. Here I'd like to finish the lesson. I can give you more details, a lot of slight and deep ones. But it's very important to move from simple things to more complex. You should make this exercise for the first time. It's quite simple. Everyone can just stand, embrace a ball, stand like this for a while and calm down a little. Не отвлекаясь, как наладить расслабление, потому что обычно у, у нас какие-то есть травмы, болячки, либо неправильное действие, которое мы совершаем. In other words, it's not that difficult externally. Usually, arms haven't been raised, shoulders are tied to me. And here I finish the first lesson. Train, practice, and have a nice day. Bye.